Yeah, good. Had a week's rest after the, the world. A little bit of unstructured training. Back to more structured training 10 days afterwards. Yeah, feeling, feeling good, feeling strong. It was amazing. Being in Chamonix in the summer was great. Then we went down to have a beach holiday in just off the coast of Italy, near Florence. And that was amazing. Great riding as well, great biking, great atmosphere when you're, when you're riding out there. Really sort of got a, a real cool bike culture out in Italy. So yeah, so yeah, it was great. Yeah, loved it. I didn't want to come home. We've been home now two or three weeks. I'm still sort of not fully back into the, the swing of things. Still got a bit of a hangover from the, the World Championships and the, and the holiday as well. But starting to get back into it, starting to get, starting to feel strong again starting to feel like getting back into that that routine. I think when you are retired, I think routine goes out the window a little bit. And I think that's the hard thing when you when I've been on holiday before for two weeks, you want to come back to that routine. You want to you want that structure in your life. But when you're retired, you ain't got that routine, you ain't got that structure. So it is a little bit it's a little bit different. Yeah, I think again if we just take about the over, the overall weekend, you know, it's one of disappointments still, and I won't lie. Finishing fifth, and people have said, "Oh, that was a great result," and it was, but I still I was disappointed that I didn't get on the podium. You know, to be passed on the last sort of couple of laps by by guys was quite demoralising, and, and not having the strength to to go with them, especially with how I finished the first run, you know, was uh, was disappointing. And then then the disqualification on the Sunday, even though. You know, from my point of view, I felt really strong. I felt really good. I, felt, I really enjoyed the race. I, I much preferred the, the sprint race to the to the standard race from as an enjoyment. Even though I was disqualified, I felt I felt really strong. Yeah, I was disqualified for uh, doing an extra lap on the bike, so it was a bit disappointing. It's a mistake I won't make in the future. Again, a lot of the, a lot of the work that I've been doing since since the World Championship, a lot of it, and a lot of strength stuff, a lot of hill work, strength and conditioning, and that's building up now to the to the Europeans. So I've got a sprint and a standard race in between that, back out to altitude for three weeks, and then to Bilbao, sort of the week before the race, get acclimatized, because I do think it'll, it's gonna be warm in Bilbao, with it being a city, a city race, I think it will be still warm. I think it'll be in the early 30s, which, so you've got to be sort of used to that, that high temperature. I had a look at the route. It's a very hill specific route and sort of quite a, a decent climb, 6K climb, sort of 7, 8% climb. Downhill descent, just one big steep hill, around about 6K. This is on the sprint. I think you've got 5K in, 6K up the, the climb, 6K down the climb, and then 5K-ish sort of after the climb, um, back into transition and, and the, the sprint, sorry, the standard is basically double that. You know, I've been working a lot more on, on, on strength on the bike. And again, hopefully in temperature as well. You know, what I'm gonna to try to, I'm gonna go out to Spain for a three week training camp, you know, be, be training in them sorts of temperatures because I think that's gonna be a play a big factor in, in the race. I haven't ridden him once inside, which you'll be pleased to know. I haven't, you know, I've been on the turbo trainer at home here for, since we, we left to go to the World Championships in early May. I think I should cancel my uh, Zwift um, subscription because it's not getting a lot of use at the moment. I'm really enjoying it. I think one of the, the big takeaways from the World Championship trip, the San Maritz, Austria, Romania, Chamonix, you know, in, in, in Italy, was riding outside. How much I enjoyed it, how much I really do realise how much it does make a difference. You know, both to awareness on the road, strength, you know, position even on the road bike, uh, position on the TT bike. You know, it does make a huge difference just being riding outside. Put plans in place as well for the winter. You know, I've ordered a gravel bike and, you know, sort of, you know, so I'm sort of don't want to even come back in in the winter. I want to spend a month, six weeks out in Lanzarote again, sort of early part of the year. So I just want to be focused on riding as much as possible outside. That's my big aim now is to is to be constantly outside on the on the uh, on the road bike. Yeah, next week's so just a small local sprint at Lancaster University, I think it is. Yeah, so it's just a small race the week after the, the qualifier for the standard for the Europeans, which is going to be the sort of really as a as a build up to the 
to, to the, this year's Europeans for me. It's a course that looks like it'll suit me a little bit more. It's a bit more of a rolling road course, which I think does suit me rather than the track type courses. I've got a 10K the, the weekend after before I go to Spain and altitude. Three races back to back each week and then, then a three week, hopefully tough, hard training camp and then back for a week and then back out to, to Bilbao. 